Hello everyone. Welcome you all to today's class. Today we will be studying chapter 4 of general knowledge our parliament. So students do you have any knowledge about what is parliament and who are there in a parliament? What are the two houses in the parliament? I hope not, right? Even if so, we'll be understanding and learning more in details. First, uh I have to just provide some basic knowledge. So just have a glance to the following video then we'll be filling up these blanks. Okay? Every day we hear about the parliament somewhere or the other in TV channels, newspapers, from our parents, etc. But what is parliament? The parliament is a super legislative body in the Indian government. The legislative body, what is that? The legislative body is a group of people who make laws for the country. But how is the parliament related to our life? government and its ministry make decisions on our behalf about various things which are a part of our life like transport our education healthcare food and even sports but the parliament is bigger and the government is a part of it look the parliament consists of the president of india and two houses namely the upper house which is the rajya sabha or the council of states and the lower house which is the lok sabha or the house of people While on the other hand the government is formed by the party who gets more than half the seats and gets majority votes after the general election of Lok Sabha members of both these houses are called members of the parliament or MPs So what does the parliament do exactly The parliament checks to see if the government is doing a good job or not and if they are not they can raise a question against it The period during which the house conducts its meetings is called a session The parliament conducts three sessions each year: the budget session, the monsoon session, and the winter session. How do we contribute to parliament and its decisions? The country is divided into numerous constituencies. Each of these constituencies elect one person to the parliament. Once these candidates become part of the parliament, they become members of parliament. We elect the members of the Lok Sabha directly through general elections and the members of the Rajya Sabha indirectly through state legislative assemblies. So what did we learn about the parliament? The parliament is a super legislative body which makes laws for our country. The government is a part of the parliament and makes decisions for the people of country. The parliament is composed of the president, the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. The parliament administrates the working of the government. By voting, we elect the members of the parliament directly or indirectly. So students, that was just a basic knowledge about the parliament and various other factors related to it. The what are the houses who are important part of the parliament and all of that. So now we will be completing and filling up these blanks. So look it carefully. based on the video explained and even if it is not explained uh, we'll be filling up these blanks okay so question number 1 the parliament of india consists of two houses what were the two upper house and lower house second question the upper house is the rajya sabha and the lower house is the lok sabha question number 3 total number of members of the lower house is 545 and the upper house is 250 This you have to keep it in mind. Then question number four: the president of India is also a part of the parliament. Question number five: the term of the lower house is five years. Question number six: the president has to sign all the bills passed by both the houses of the Indian Parliament. Question number seven: a member of the lower house must be a citizen of India and at least of Twenty-five years of age. Question number eight: The presiding officer of the lower house is called the speaker. Question number nine: The vice president is the ex officio chairman of the upper house. Question number ten: A member of the upper house must be at least of thirty years. So, few of the questions were from the video. and uh, there were few in the video that is not given in these questions so overall you have gained something some knowledge about parliament so this was all about your fourth chapter study well and take care thank you